When you take your Bible, Paul wrote the following words to Timothy concerning the state of affairs in the end time. He begins in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. But know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. The Bible says in the end time, things are not going to be easy. Perilous times are going to come. Meaning that the end time will be difficult moment. The word perilous is from the Greek word kalipos. It means troublous, dangerous, harsh, and sometimes even fierce. So it means in the end time, there is going to be dangerous moments for our world, for humanity. You know, when you read Matthew chapter 8, verse 28, Matthew used the word kalipos to describe those two demon-possessed who attacked Jesus Christ. The Bible says they were so fierce that no one could pass that way. So Paul meant to say that life will be super difficult and dangerous in the end time. And when you continue in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 to 6, Paul mentioned some of the things that will lead to these difficult moments. For example, he mentioned lovers of self, lovers of money, proud arrogant, abusive, disobedient to parents, etc., etc. All these things are going to create dangerous moments for our world. The sin of humanity is the reason why there is going to be perilous times in the world. But then when you study the Gospels, Jesus also predicted that in the end time, there is going to be dangerous moments, difficult times, troublous moments. He gave a forecast about great earthquakes, famines, and pestilences in various places, and fearful events and great signs from heaven. But let me remind you, these events, earthquakes and famine and whatever we can mention, they are not God's judgment upon wicked people. Keep that in your mind. These natural disasters shall come upon the inhabitants of the earth. Whether you are a child of God or not, you can be killed by an earthquake. And over the years, I've seen God's children killed in various natural disasters. On the 28th of September 2018, there was a massive earthquake in Indonesia, and it killed about 832 people, including some Seventh-day Adventists. Last year in Rwanda, some of you heard it in the news, in March 2018, 16 Seventh-day Adventists were struck by lightning during Sabbath worship, and 16 of them, they died. So when Jesus said there is going to be natural disasters, it wasn't a judgment upon the wicked people. It will be a troublous moment for everybody, whether you are righteous or unrighteous. Millions of people around the world are suffering bereavement as a result of natural disasters. But again, Jesus also mentioned horrible diseases and pestilences. Some of these diseases we can cure. Some of them we cannot cure. Some of them are also plagues. 
talks of Ebola, hepatitis. I've seen a lot of pastors who have been killed by hepatitis. Cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, cancer, etc. All deadly diseases dragging millions to their early grave. And here in this church, over the years, we have witnessed some of our loved ones being killed by some of these diseases. People do not fall sick because they are sinners. Or the fact that you have a disease that is leading you to death doesn't mean that you are a sinner. People fall sick and die simply because we are not yet in heaven. We are still in this sinful world. And as a result, you and I, we have to battle through some of these catastrophes. But let me remind you, we should always be thankful every blessed morning of having good health. We should be thankful. Friends, dangerous times are here with us because we have many struggles to overcome. Peter says in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, Our adversary, the devil, as a rolling lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Satan is enraged. He is pouring everywhere to devour the children of God. And each one of us here are a potential target of the enemy. Imagine how many people need deliverance from the hands of Satan around the world. People whose lives have been plunged in addiction, in depression, and a whole lot of human disaster. People need salvation from the hands of Satan. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, Paul also wrote, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. My dear friend, the great controversy is real, and it is here with us. The struggle is real. The battle is real. And you and I must fight to the end. You have your demons to fight, and I have my demons also to fight. We are all in a battlefield. Dangerous times are earth's darkest moment. Jesus said, there will be signs in the sun and, in, and moon and stars, and on the earth dismay among the nations, bewildered by the rolling of the sea and the surging of the waves. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Many hearts are failing nowadays. Many people are dismayed because the struggle is here with us. And you also, you have your own struggles. You may not find yourself in the midst of earthquakes or tsunamis or hurricanes or floodings. But in your own small corner, there is a disaster that you need to battle. The whole creation is groaning us in the pains of childbirth. Not only so, but we ourselves, who have the first fruit of the Spirit, sometimes when somebody is suffering or going through difficult moments, we are tempted to say that they are not spiritual. That is why they have stress. That is why they have depression. No, the Bible says even us who have the first fruit of the Spirit, 
We groan. We are worried. We have despair. We have pain. As we wait eagerly for our adoption. Groaning is an inarticulate sound conveying pain and despair. When someone is groaning, sometimes you don't see, you don't hear, but they suffer. Many pillows are wet every night. Difficult moments are here with us. The yoke of pain and despair are breaking many necks. Are you burdened this afternoon? What is making your heart to fail? What are your struggles? Are you battling with sadness and worry? Are you afraid that you might fall sick and die? Are you struggling with sin? God has a solution for you this afternoon. Say amen. amen. And I want to assure you that amid all these disasters and troubles, burdens are lifted at Calvary. In Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, the Bible says, And they overcame him, Satan, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to death. The struggle is here with us. Dangerous moments and difficult moments are here with us. But brothers and sisters, I want to assure you that there is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. The weapons of our fight are not by might, but by the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus shed his blood on Calvary that we may be called children of God. He shed his blood that we may receive forgiveness of our sins. Are you struggling with a particular sin in your life? Today, remember that burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus died for you. He gave his life that we may have the victory to overcome Satan. Calvary is the place where all burdens were lifted. Your fears, disappointments, sorrow, and worry. Your failures and defeats. Sickness and despair were all nailed to the cross. Calvary reminds you and I that in all things, we are more than conquerors in Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus is an indelible imprint of God's love for you and for me. My friend, fear not. You may have difficulties, you may have challenges, but always remember Calvary. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. These days are dangerous moments. But the Bible says the saints, they also overcame Satan by their word of testimony. Our testimony is about Jesus Christ. Say amen. We have nothing to testify than the grace and love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is highly exalted above every principality authority, and power, and above every demonic forces in the universe, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. This is our words of testimony that God sent his son to destroy the works of Satan. Jesus himself said, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. Jesus didn't say that when we believe in him, everything is going to be on the highway. He said in this world we will have tribulation, we will have 
difficult moments. But then he said, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Jesus has overcome the world for you and for me. The name Jesus has a powerful impact in every situation. Sing the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Praise in the name of Jesus. Meditate in the name of Jesus. Rebuke every difficult situation in your life by the name of Jesus. There is power in the blood because burdens are lifted at Calvary. Are your days filled with sorrow? Do you have so, so many cares to worry about? I want to challenge you to remember Calvary. Is your heart lonely and drear? Remember Calvary. Are you grieving for the loss of a dear one? Remember Calvary. Is your soul so troubled and worried? Remember Calvary. In these difficult and dangerous moments, let us always remember that all burdens are lifted at Calvary. So this afternoon, Jesus appeals to you and I that come unto me all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus offers a perfect rest from all the struggles that we need to go through. Are there some struggles in your life? What is breaking your neck? Are you about to give up? My friend, I think you need the help of Jesus Christ. He says, come. I will give you rest. I want all of us to stand up on our feet. As we sing once more, SDAH hymnal 476. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. And whilst we sing, I want to challenge you. If you have any worry, any fear, any difficult issue that you are battling with, I want to invite you. Just come and let us pray together. Just tell it to Jesus Christ. Just mention it that, dear Lord, I have difficulty in this. Mention it. Groan in your heart before his throne of grace. There is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Let's go. There's a great sorrow and I keep inviting you, come, don't let burdens break your neck. Yes, come. All of us, we have difficult moments. Jesus is here to give us rest from all our pain, all our sorrows. Even if you have problems in your marriage, come, let us pray together. Let's go to the second stanza. Leave your worry and fear. My friend, what is troubling you? Let it be a game over today. Just come and pour everything on Jesus Christ. Come and let us pray together. Jesus is very, 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 very
moments in our world today. When we wake up, we don't know what is coming the next day. A lot of us are battling in the secret. Our hearts are loaded with worry and pain. Please join me in prayer. Let us tell it to Jesus Christ. He died because of all these things. We can only overcome our difficulties by the blood of Jesus Christ. Come and let us pray together. Let's sing the last There is life in a look at the sacred cross. Jesus has said, look unto me. Earth with its riches is only dross. Bright treasures beyond in the cross I see. In a look, there is life for thee. In a look at Calvary, blessed thought, salvation free by a look at Calvary. When first to the Savior, I raised my eyes. Sweet was the smile that fell on me, oft as the clouds of temptation rise. A look at the cross, still my strength shall be. I will look to the cross every day and hour, trusting the promise God has given. None ever fall beneath the tempter's power, who trust and obey in the strength of heaven. In a look, there is life for thee. In a look at Calvary, blessed thought, salvation free by a look at Calvary. Let us all seek the Lord in prayer. Our Father in heaven, at this moment your church is standing before thee. We look to thee for our salvation. We look to thee for our deliverance. We look to thee to lighten our burden. We are so troubled, we are so weary. We are at our breaking point. We are about to give up. But Father, we believe that there is much strength under thy wings. We believe in you we have absolute refuge. And whoever runs to you is protected and comforted. Please may you spread thy mighty wings upon thy children. The various difficulties that we are battling with. The secret sins that your people are battling with. The pain and despair. The fear of sickness and death that has cast its shadows upon your children. Father, may your children see your light. May we experience thy countenance among us. Today we stand before thee as frail and weakness as we are. Just as we are, we, we put ourselves into your hands. That, Father, may you shield us. May you clothe us with thy wings. Enlighten our burdens. May all worries and troubles and challenges be disappeared in the blood of Jesus. Those who need the power, the cleansing power of the Lamb, may you plunge them beneath that river that flows from Calvary. 
those who need strength to continue in their Christian work, Father, may you help them. Raise those who are weak. Raise those who are fallen. Let us stand as mighty men to continue to worship you and to praise thy holy name. Father, this church is in your hands. This church you have planted here in Geneva to be a light to many people. Father, may you protect us. May you be a wall of fire around this church that the demons and the principalities that are standing against us, may you fight the battle for us. Father, may you raise standards against our principalities and authorities that will stand against our advancement. And Father, help us be victorious. Protect us. Shield us. Let everyone see that you are with us. And victory is for us. We believe we are overcomers by the blood of Jesus Christ. We believe we are overcomers by our words of testimony. And at this hour, we claim every promise that you have given unto us. We claim all thy promises of victory. We claim all thy promises of forgiveness. We claim all thy promises that you will be with us. Even though we walk through the fire. Even though we walk through the storm. Even though we walk through whatever challenge, you will be with us. We dwell under the shadows of thy mind. That be with everybody. Those who are struggling, Father, liberate them in the name of Jesus Christ. Provide for each and everyone's needs. And Father, let us continue to serve you in victory. We praise thee. We glorify thee for the victory. We thank you for thy salvation. And we thank you that you are here with us. May your name be glorified. May you be forever praised. May your name be highly exalted above every power and principalities. And Father, you are God. And you will always be our God. Because we are your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Amen.